welcome to another WJC Unit 2A Level Physics question on waves. This is from June 2017 and it's question 1 from that paper. We've got a diagram showing a portion of rope at a time t equals 0 with a progressive wave travelling to the right on the rope. We can see on the diagram that there are several wavelengths in a distance of 1.4 metres and we'll use that a little bit later on. But to start with, we're given a displacement time graph for point A on the wave and we're asked to draw a similar graph for point B on the wave. Now point B starts in the equilibrium position and as the wave is travelling from left to right, this trough to the left of B will cause B to first of all move downwards before oscillating upwards and completing a couple of cycles very similar to diagram A. Apologies for the smoothness of the curve, but it's not easy drawing on this tablet. Next, we've got to say how the phase of B's oscillations compares with those of A's oscillations. And again, the phasor diagram that we've seen in a previous video can be helpful here. So what we've got, four spokes. Remember that the phasor diagram rotates anti-clockwise. So spoke 2 corresponds to A because A is at a peak. B will correspond to spoke 3 because B is in the equilibrium position and just about to go down. So you can see, hopefully fairly clearly, that B leads A by 90 degrees. Alternately, you could say that A leads B by 270 degrees. We've got to state the first time after t equals naught when the appearance of the rope will be exactly the same as it is at t equals naught seconds. Well, if we're looking at the displacement uh, time graphs, we can see that one complete oscillation is completed after 0 0.2 seconds. That's the period of the wave, so it's going to take 0 0.2 seconds before the wave looks exactly the same. Next, we need to calculate the wave speed. Well, we know from the previous answer that the period is 0 0.2 seconds. That means that the frequency of the wave is 1 over 0 0.2 or 5 hertz. In the diagram that we started with, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3 and a half oscillations in 1.4 meters or 3.5 wavelengths in 1.4 meters. So 3.5 lambda equals 1.4 lambda will be 1.4 over 3.5. You should be able to do this in your head. If we uh, forget the decimal points, we've got 14 over 35. Both of those are divisible by 7. So that will simplify to 2 fifths or 0.4 meters. Finally, we can calculate the speed by using the frequency times wavelength equation. So a frequency of 5 times a wavelength of 0 0.4 gives us a speed of 2 meters per second. And don't forget units. The question continues by asking about a student observing a filament lamp, which is a source of unpolarized light. And she observes that the lamp appears less bright when viewed through a polarizing filter. Firstly, we're asked what's meant by unpolarized light. Now, we've got to be careful here that we don't just say that the light travels in any direction. It's the oscillations of the light, the, the vibrations of the electric and the magnetic field. So what we should say here is something along the lines of the vibrations of the light oscillate in all directions. perpendicular to the direction the wave travels. A useful word that's an alternative for all directions would be all planes. 
Nextly, we've got to account for the student's observation that the lamp appears less bright when viewed through the polarizing filter. Well, basically here, we're just looking for the idea that the filter absorbs all components of the light, or the light oscillations, in one plane. The question continues with a standing wave question. We've got a, a wave in a pipe with an anti-node at the open end and a node at the closed end. We've got to determine the wavelength and the frequency of the sound. Well, if we remember that from a node to an anti-node is a quarter wavelength, we can see here that we have three of these quarter wavelengths, so that the 0 0.63 meters is three quarters of a wavelength. A little bit of cross multiplication, lambda will be 0 0.63 times 4 divided by 3. 0 0.63 divided by 3 is 0 0.21 times 4 is 0 0.84 meters. We can then calculate the frequency using the speed of sound, where the frequency is the speed over the wavelength, 342 meters per second, divided by 0 0.21. 84 meters. Now this would be an example of a question where you should probably use a calculator because it's a little bit too difficult for most people to do in their heads. So if we type our numbers into the calculator we find we get a frequency of 407 hertz. Finally, we've got to describe how, if at all, the phase of oscillations of the air varies along the pipe between W and Z. Well, the key point to remember here is that on a standing wave, all points between a pair of nodes are oscillating in phase. So all the points between X and Z are all in phase. But the particles in between a pair of nodes are in antiphase with the particles in the next node-to-node -node loop. So what we can say here is that the particles between W and X are all in phase. And the particles between X and Z are all in phase. But the particles between W and X are in antiphase with those between X and Z. So that's the end of that question. Thank you very much for listening and please remember to give us a like and a subscribe.